The internet is the global communication network that allows almost all computers worldwide to connect and exchange information. But how did the internet get started? More than 1 billion people worldwide use the internet. The internet is used for shopping, listening to music, watching TV and movies, searching for information, and communicating with people around the world. The internet originated in the late 1960s when the United States Defense Department developed ARPANET, the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, an experimental network of computers designed to guarantee communication in the case of a nuclear attack. The birth of the ARPANET project was in 1962 by J.C.R. Licklinder of MIT. Licklinder thought up a globally connected world where people could quickly access data and programs from any location. In October 1972, ARPANET was shown up to a large audience and a very hot tool that the network could use called email was introduced. ARPANET email was pioneered in March 1972 by Ray Tomlinson at BBN. Email was a fantastic advancement in communication over the phone and allowed the early creators of the internet to discuss and document in great detail the actual development of the network. In the mid-1980s, when desktop computer workstations became increasingly popular, organizations wanted to connect their aerial networks, or LANs, to ARPANET. January 1, 1983 is considered the official birth date of the internet. Prior to this, the various computer networks did not have a standard way to communicate with each other. Internet technology protocols were developed, commonly known as TCP IP, or Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. This led to one of the first definitions of the internet being a connected set of networks. ARPANET and the Defense Data Network officially changed to the TCP IP standard on January 1, 1983, hence the birth of the internet. To help speed up connections, the National Science Foundation established supercomputing centers in 1986, creating the NSFNet. NSFNet continued to grow and more and more countries around the world connected. During the late 1980s, the first internet service provider companies were formed. Companies like PSINet and UUNet were formed to provide service to the regional research networks and provide alternate network access to the public. 1991 was a big year for the internet. The National Research and Education Network, or NRENS, was founded and the World Wide Web was released. The internet was still dominated by scientists and other academics, but public interest was largely increased. With the release of the Mosaic web browser in 1993 and Netscape in 1994, interest in and use of the World Wide Web exploded. More and more communities became wired, enabling direct connections to the Internet. The Internet continues to experience staggering growth. More people use the Internet to get connected to others, find information, conduct business, and share information more than ever before in history. So what's next? What's the future for the Internet? Well, while the answer isn't entirely clear, the possibilities are very exciting. <laughs>